Steve Basic here. Welcome back to the Build Show. So, I'm live on site here with Jake Bruton. Jake and I do a lot of work together. He puts up some fabulous stuff. Always a, a treat checking out his stuff. But anyways, we're down here. Jake's the builder of this project. I obviously am, am the architect of the project. And uh, we got kind of a special foundation happening down here. One that uh, is, is pretty neat. You see to my left here, got a bunch of wooden forms. It's not necessarily your traditional foundation form, but about 70% of the house uh, in this particular project is sitting on top of concrete piers. And so it's gonna be basically be open to the underbelly of the house. And only about 30% of it actually has a basement. And when we were deciding on exactly what to make those piers look like, we came up with, uh, or kind of came up with this solution of a board formed concrete. You can see the boards are vertically oriented. They're various widths from three inches, four inches and five inches. And they're kind of chaotically placed on the formwork here, obviously to conform to the sizes of the uh, structural piers themselves. But uh, you can see, very heavily braced, a lot of pressure down here at the bottom especially. You can see there's a lot more bracing down at the bottom because you have all that weight of the concrete up above pushing down at it. We have some pretty massive footings. The footings here go about 30 inches into the ground. So it's a pretty substantial foundation here to uh, sit this house on. But when we take a look over here, we got a pier over here that uh, the formwork is stripped on. So. You can see there, we get that nice knife-like edge. I know uh, Jake and Brad took the time to take all the rounded edges off of the board forms. And so we ended up with some nice square edges. And you can see we get that kind of plank relief. The idea was to run them vertically, kind of in a juxtaposition of the horizontal siding of the house. And you can see up beyond here, we have the, uh, the basically the foundation. So. Right above me, we're gonna have this house flying and it's gonna fly out that way and then it's gonna finish with this beautiful cantilever deck, which is a, just a story unto itself. We're working with this, uh, I, ca I call him the genius of steel, Russell built. Emmett, uh, Emmett can build it out of steel if we can think it up. So we uh, gave him a challenge, he's up for it and I'm looking forward to that part of the project. But getting back to the piers, you can see our foundation wall is there. We have our, uh, drainage system being placed there. This is all gonna get backfilled. Now, the thing to understand is we're actually standing below grade. And when we actually start backfilling this, the ground is gonna be somewhere up in here. So most of this is gonna be below grade. And this is gonna slope down so that when we get to this pier, which is about 15 feet away, you know, we're gonna probably be at mid pier down through here. And then by the time we get to this behemoth of a concrete pier, we're gonna be down in here somewhere, climbing down and then kind of breaking grade here and then just catching up to the grade beyond. But this one here is actually a pretty special one. As you can see, it's twice the thickness of the other ones and it's a little longer than the other ones. So this one has this two foot shelf that's one inch deep and then it has that one by one foot upper piece well the house actually ends right here flies across to that pier this is the base plate for that 10 foot cantilever deck that's basically going to fly out over that now there's no piers no posts nothing the deck is only has this attachment and the attachment that's mirrored on the other side they're eight by eight steel columns and everything gets rigidly moment framed to that and basically flies out. And as it flies out, it tapers and uh, it's just gonna look spectacular. So anyways, really cool foundation. Jake and Brad are doing a fabulous job out here. The board form concrete looks just as good as we hoped it would look. And uh, we're off to a great start on this project. So. Let's jump back to the studio. We'll pull up some drawings. We'll talk about my conversations with the structural engineer and we'll talk about everything that's inside these to uh, keep this house up. So 
let's go back to the studio. Hey everybody, so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, visit out there with Jake, looking at some of those board, for, board formed concrete foundations. Um, say that real fast, 20 times. Um, but anyways, very exciting stuff happening out there. We're gonna take some time. We got my good buddy, Big Red, pulled up some drawings from that project. We're gonna take a look at that foundation system um, in a little bit more detail and exactly uh, what's holding up that building. So let's get at it. Alrighty, so here's a quick building section that I extracted out of the building drawing set, the construction drawing set. And you can see here, we have the house where we have that main body here where we talked about that has the basement. And then you can see the section that's out on piers here where we have our piers. And basically that floor frame that goes and hangs out on them. You can also see here, this is where we talked about, this was pretty much the existing grade Remember when we were out there, we talked about how you could see a little bit of that footing, but when we regraded it, you can see how that new grade is gonna come up and hide all that stuff. So that we just have those piers coming out of the ground. You can see, you know, each one of the piers, we have some extensive pieces of rebar coming up in there. You can see this is the one that has that little shelf where uh, we're carrying out that cantilever deck there to kind of mimic the cantilevered roof system. But uh, I also printed out some of those details, but wanted to give you that overview of what's happening here. And uh, let's take a look at uh, those details. So here's a couple of those footing details. This is one, this is basically the same footing detail um, you can see it here, it's just cut. This one here is parallel to the rim joist. This one here is perpendicular to that uh, floor framing system there that you can see. So the joists are coming out at you instead of uh, going out into the side. So there's our basic uh, 10 inch wide wall by 30 inch wide concrete pier. You can see the massive footings under there. There's all series of rebar there. Um, one thing to understand, those of you that aren't necessarily in the construction industry, concrete has an extremely high um, compressive strength, but it has little to no tensile strength, meaning that unless it gets reinforced, it really can't handle bending, twisting, um, warping, those kinds of things. But it can handle that point load, right? You can put a large load on it and it can resist real easy. But the minute this thing wants to go like this, well, this side here of that concrete pier is in compression, right? But this side here, should the pier want to sway, ends up being in tension where it wants to stretch instead of compress. And it really can't handle that. So we need to be able to resist those forces that as the wind blows on this building, that it needs to be able to resist that movement in the building. Hence, we have all this reinforcement in there. So you can see here in the short section, we have a couple vertical bars. Those vertical bars go deep down into the footing, right? They're basically spiking that wall down into that deep footing. And then we have a series of stirrups here. And these stirrups are nothing more than a piece of rebar that looks something like that. And it goes around those four bars that rise up, or in this case, six bars that rise up. So there'd be a couple more bars in there. But basically those stirrups tie that whole system together. <clears throat> On the long side, again, it's very similar to that detail. It's just expanded into from the 10 inch to the 30 inch. We have the vertical bars. We have a whole series of horizontal bars. So we have that matrix that gets built inside, basically a steel cage. And then we cover it with concrete. So the concrete handles the compressive strength. It also provides the durability and weatherization um, to the project. And uh, the steel handles all of the tensile forces inside. Now, taking that pier up, we then have to connect it 
to our wood floor framing system. So you can see here we have those two sections, but I also have a plan section there. And you can see that, you know, here's our floor joists, or in this case, we have a double mud sill. That double mud sill gets anchored at six points. So there's two that way and then three the long way. And those, I believe, are just tighten uh, <coughs> bolts that get put in afterwards. So somewhere we have a name for those. Um, and they get bolted down. So basically, we have the concrete pier, goes into the ground, puts that load in. The ground here resists, right? Basically holds the building up. And then we need an attachment for the wood frame to that. So we end up having this 30 inch double plate and it gets bolted down in six places. And then we have the wall sheathing comes down and that attaches into the side of that double mud sill, as well as we have this Simpson angle that the structural engineer called out for. You see it there and you see it here, basically also attaching that wood frame to resist the ability for that wood frame to rise up over that. So anyways, so there you have it. I mean, it's uh, it seems like a complex system and in some ways there's a lot of steel there, but it's still a pretty simple system. Concrete piers, basically a wood frame. It's just that, you know, in this case here, when we go back to the building section, basically what we're really talking about is, is that we have a house that has a basement and we have some concrete piers. We just built a giant deck. And then we chose to enclose it. Right, so we get enclosed space and then we put a roof over it and enclose it so we end up with all of that condition closed in space. But conceptually, it's nothing more than a series of piers, a concrete deck, conditioned space, and then a roof overhead. And uh, all of that, those are all the ingredients for the recipe for what we call a high performance house. So. Anyways, we're closing out Big Red. That's all we got for drawings this week. All right, everybody. Got the cap on Big Red. That means we're done talking, right? We're done explaining. So hopefully you got something great out of this video. Stay tuned. Um, this house, you know, this is just the foundation. This house has some pretty cool details happening on it. Very exciting stuff happening down there. Of course, I got my good friend Jake building it. So that's always a treat when we have him on, uh, on site. But uh, anyways, go check out the Build, Build Show Network. We're putting all kinds of new stuff up there every week. We got webinars. We got my colleagues, Matt, Jake, Wade, Brent, putting up information every week. It's all free. Go check it out. Lots of great stuff. These guys are killing it with the videos. Um, whole bunch of good information. Follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Stephen Basic Architect on Instagram. I put up knowledge all the time, trying to share some information, make our industry a little bit better by the day. Um, and lastly, every Thursday, Jake Bruton, Peter Yost, and myself, we drop a new episode of the Unbuild It podcast. You can find us uh, there talking about some complex building science and uh, how we break it down to some common denominators and share that information with you. So go check it all out. There's tons of information out there. People are always asking me, hey, where do I go to get good information? Well, there you go. Um, three good places. Um, until next time, that's it for me on the Build Show Network this week. Long live our buildings. <laughs>